Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that taught me this truth. And peace and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, the, the, the end is almost here. You know, I just wanted to deal, you know, with, with uh, you know, uh, I don't know, just, you know, our protection. You know what I'm saying? That, that um, you know, the men of the Lord don't have nothing to worry about in, in that day of evil. You know what I'm saying? Because we have, you know, the Lord, for his hopeful let, he sent angels to protect us. Just like the days of old, you know what I'm saying? We have spiritual, um, like, guardian angels, if you will. You know what I'm saying? So we don't have to worry about carnality, you know, or, you know, weapons of war or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? All we got to do is fight with the word, right? With the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You know what I'm saying? And that's that's going to tear this nation down, you know, all its own. You know what I'm saying? Just, you, what's, you know, just by using words. You know what I'm saying? Because that that's the thing, you know. With these words of truth, you know, the Lord said he's going to give us a, a a mouth that no man can gainsay. You know what I'm saying? When you coming out with hardcore truth, nobody can refute that. You know what I'm saying? We backing it up with the Bible and with history. You know what I'm saying? Artifacts or whatnot. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, we own our job. And so when we go out or when we walk our daily life, you know, the the Lord is is, is protecting us. You know, all the time. You know, we may get affliction here and there, but but as far as like imminent danger, you know what I'm saying, Lord willing, the Lord always keeps a hedge around his elect, you know what I'm saying? Just like uh like Job, you know. But um, you know, that's what I wanted to go into, you know. This is uh Psalms thirty four and seven, the angel of Yahweh at campus round about them that fear him and deliver them so then you know hey, the operative word is fear you know you got to fear you have by shim you have a shy you know what i'm saying that's the beginning of wisdom you know what i'm saying and to show that you fear him you're gonna do what he say you know what i'm saying so you know if you do those things then the lord will protect you you know and you know, like the screws say, you, you camp it round about just like you did with the, uh, which I'll probably get that. Uh, what was it, Elisha or Elijah? You know what I'm saying? When he, uh, uh, you know, camp it around about with a band of angels, you know, and um, slew, <coughs> slew their enemies or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what we pray for day in, day out. You know what I'm saying? That the Lord, you know, is always with us. That he protect, you know, you know, ourselves, the brotherhood, you know, and their respective families, you know. But uh this is Matthew's uh eighteen This is Matthew's eighteen and twenty, yep. For there, oh no, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. You know? So when we going on the highways and byways, preaching the words of the Heavenly Father and His Son, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is protecting us. You know? That's why, uh, you know, you'll see a lot of videos, you know, where these cops come out or scarves come out and they try to create they try to create like a uh, commotion. So like they try to commit commotion <laughs> or whatnot. <laughs> and it's to no avail because the Lord, Yahabashin Abashai, you know, he's giving us wisdom to, uh, to um, you know, to refute any kind of uh, bullshit that come our way. And if there's anyone that's to do harm to us, you know, because they, you know, they had these people that try to get carnal out here, <clears throat> talking about, you know, they gonna, you know, come back, you know, they'll talk about they gonna come back and shoot us down, and, you know, they make all kind of, you know, threats, but that that that's just a curse upon them, 
You know what I'm saying? Because, Lord willing, we, we doing the right thing. It's them that's going off. They the ones that's not lift, uh, listening. They the ones that's scoffing, all right? And that's they biting the hand that feed them, so to speak. Because, you know, we're feeding them. We're feeding them the words, you know what I'm saying, of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? Because, the, you know, the scriptures are equated to food, you know. You know, uh, you know, honey and milk, right? The wine, the bread, the oil. You know what I'm saying? So we're trying to spoon feed them this word, but, you know, they don't want to get it. And then, you know, they turn around and talk their shit. And, you know, they try to threaten us. But, hey, so, you know, like I said, it's just a curse upon them. We have faith in the Heavenly Father and His Son that He's going to protect us. And he, he, do, he does that via the angels because they always on watch. You know what I'm saying? They always looking out, you know. But, um... Let me see, this is, let me see, what do I want to get, yeah, this is, this is, um, Second Kings, six. Six and seventeen. Uh, I started sixteen. I started fifteen. Uh, this is Second Kings six and fifteen. And when the servant of the man of the Most High was risen early and gone forth, behold, and host past the city both with the horses and chariots as his servant said unto him alas my master how shall we do and he answered fear not for they that be with us are more than they that be with them you know what I'm saying so you know yeah just to fast forward to today in today's times you know Esau think you know and the Lord is going to allow him, you know, because, uh, you know, a lot of wicked, it's a lot of wicked people, you know, in our nation, you know. Uh, but, you know, that's what Esau trusted. He trusted in his weaponry, his tanks and machine guns and his uh, uh, fighter planes and all that. So he think he's going to encamp the men of the Lord. And that the Lord is not going to deliver. But all we got to do is have faith in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And he's, he's going to, you know, matter of fact, I think it says that in Psalms 34 chapter. Uh, you know, like many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. You know, you know, you're going to have Esau try to afflict us and come with his, you know, with his, his, his weaponry, but. Hey, the Lord's gonna give us the Lord will give us spiritual power in that day. You know what I'm saying? And if not that, you know, the Lord He got our back. He's gonna protect us. You know, I read the, the scripture in Psalm thirty four chapter, where the, you know, the angel of the Lord he camp around about them that fear him. You know what I'm saying? So we'll be fine. Hey, now reading here it says, And he answered, Fear not. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We don't have to be scared of these other nations. All, all we got to do is fear the Lord. See, we have to control our spirit and direct our fear where it's, it, you know, where it should be directed. You know? So to hell with these other nations. They, they're peasants. We're over them in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? As long as we fear the Lord, we, we straight. It says, fear not. For they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Yahweh, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And Yahweh opened his eyes of the young man. And he saw, and behold, the mount was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. And when they came down to him. Elisha prayed unto Yahweh and said, Smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. 
You know what I'm saying? So they said um, Alicia's um, understudy, you know, he saw the uh, uh, Alicia pray for his understudy, you know, to um, to give him the eyes to see. And when the Lord, you know, uh, basically he uh, he materialized the spiritual world right before his eyes in in in, in the in this terrestrial world. You know what I'm saying? He saw that fifth dimension, if you will. And he saw that the angels were there all along, you know? So we know through the spirit, like, just like today, we know the angels, you know what I'm saying? They, they, like, you know, they right here, you know what I'm saying? They right here all the time. Like the scripture said in uh, Amos, the ninth chapter, you know what I'm saying? That the angels, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. The eyes of the Lord is going into the angels. That's his eyes, you know what I'm saying? They the ones that go out and make and make reports on what's going on in the earth and they give it and they send it back to the Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? They the watchdogs of the kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? So that you know, we have no worries. You know what I'm saying? All we gotta do is, is, is stay strong, stay diligent, and keep doing the work. And the Lord will, you know, will provide for us. He'll protect us, you know. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom.